Hey guys, Adrian from Happy Hour Projects here, and I am happy to be part of Team Crafty Hangouts today. We are all doing a theme of gifts that are, well not gifts, but any project that is $10 or left. Or, or $10 or less. I'm sorry, I'm on cold meds. That's, that, if, I, if I misspeak today, that's, that's what's going on with me. Um, Consumercrafts.com is sponsoring us, and they are one of my favorite companies to work with. If you read at my blog, you know that I actually use a lot of their supplies all the time, so I'm really excited to have them as our sponsor today. And I'm going to be sharing, of course, a jewelry project with you. That's, of course, kind of my signature move. So um, you can uh, tune into CraftyHangouts.com anytime this coming week and check out all of the ideas that some of the other people on the team have come up with, and everything is going to be $10 or less. So let's get started. I have done something new today, and I, I hope I don't lose you here. I added a second camera after getting some feedback that you guys couldn't always see what I was working on. And okay, good. It looks like it's working. Um, in my first trial run, it, it wasn't working, so I, I wanted to make sure that you could actually see what we're working on here. So I'm excited to the, to do this today. What we're going to do today is we're making a, a floral layered bracelet. And we're going to finish it up so I don't have the, the finished product to show you just now. But um, they are, it's a really easy design to make. It's actually what kind of one of my go-to designs. What's nice about it is it's accessible. Anybody, anywhere can make one of these. Um, if you, you don't have to have any special jewelry tools or anything like that. You just have to have beads you love. You've got to have cord, and I use wax linen for this. And you've got to have glue and glue on end caps. So... I am going to, well, I've, I've started a project because I don't want this to take forever. But um, what you're going to do is your wax linen, it is waxed, and it is linen, obviously. I know that sounds kind of silly, but what, what you end up with is something that's actually kind of firm. It'll hold a shape. You don't need to have, like, a beading needle or anything like that. And it's also kind of sticky, so the beads are not going to slide um, real easily along it. So it just it's a real nice... It's a real nice organic um, material to work with. And what you're going to do is cut about 12 strands of this that are 12 inch long, 12 inches long. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to move over to uh, my piece in progress here so you can get a feel for what we're working on here. This is what we've got started right now. Move some of this out of the way, actually. Take you in. We've got flowers and we've got seed beads here. Now, seed beads, these are our size uh, 6 0 seed beads. Make sure I can. There we go. Which are about 4 millimeter beads. And they've got a nice size hole, especially for this wax linen. What you're going to do after you've cut your 12 uh, lengths of wax linen, you are going to add a dot of glue to the inside of these um, end caps. These are just a straight glue on end cap. I use a super new glue. It's a jewelry safe glue and it dries pretty quickly in about five minutes or so. You're going to do that and then what you would end up with, that's, that's this end here that we've already glued on. And you're going to start adding beads onto your strands. I just, as I add beads, I kind of separate them off. I add anywhere between 12 and 20 beads on each strand. You don't want to fill the strands all the way. And as I'm finished with them, I just set them aside and keep working. I've got a couple that I still need to work on here. So we can uh, I can kind of work on that while I'm talking. Um, the key for these is to get a wide variety of colors. Well, and of course, I've got a dud here. So as soon as I start, i got a seed bead that's blocked the hole is. So, but you get kind of a wide variety of colors on them. And I added on these floral beads just to give it a little bit of uh, extra some, for something like for, for a focal piece. Now, I spent $9 on the supplies, and the beads will last you for two projects. The wax linen will last you for a lot of projects. So if you just buy a couple of extra end caps, you know, spend a couple extra dollars, and, uh, and do that. You can actually have gifts, extra bracelets. You can do extra designs because you will have beads definitely to last you for these projects, for this particular project. I just put my kids to bed, so I'm hoping my daughter doesn't decide to come up and join us. She's had a, an exciting day. Or wrapping up. 
summer and getting ready for school. She's going to have her first day of school coming up here in a couple of weeks, which scares the dickens out of me. You know, I always thought that I would be a parent of babies. You know, you, you have a baby, you think about it that way. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's strange to think about being a parent of kids. So I don't know if you uh, have anything like that. But that's kind of what's new at our house right now. I've added about 15 beads or so on this strand. I've got one more strand to go. And you would just do this. This is actually like a really nice project to do sitting down with girlfriends. Because it's not real technical. All it is is just string and beads and, and hey, and what I'm doing right now, I'm just chatting with you. Just want to get a few more on here. Any 4 millimeter size beads will work for this. It doesn't specifically have to be seed beads. I like the color and I like the price point. That's what made me choose these. And I bought an actual kind of a mix, kind of a, a color blend. So that is, um, that's the colors that we're getting. So you can really go with any color theme. The wax linen also, I'm using a brown. And it comes in a few other colors. You can get it in black, white, or a natural color. And it is made of linen, so it's kind of a cotton. It just gives the whole bracelet kind of a, a nice organic feel. And now, you're, you may be wondering why we're not going to fill these up. I mean, we've got a lot of empty space on here. But when you add 12 different layers to the bracelet, it's going to fill up. It's going to puff up nicely, and you're going to be able to see those cords underneath. I'm going to move some of these, some of these out of the way now. And now we're ready to finish our bracelet. Make sure you can, you guys can see here. There we go. So I only use six of the flower beads just because they're awfully large, which makes for a really nice uh, pot for as far as like a focal type bead. But you don't want to really overwhelm it with that. And I'm trying to keep these straight of how they are on this other side. You don't really want them to get all tangled. You can braid these uh, bracelets. Um, I don't really like that look, me personally, but feel free to do that if that's a look that you like. That's kind of the best thing about um, do-it-yourself jewelry is there's no wrong way to do it. All I've done here is just gathered all the cords up. We want to get them as straight as possible. Now I am going to test this size against my wrist so that I know where to cut it off. I've already got one end cap glued on here, and so I'm going to go to just about where that cuts off. You want to have a little bit of room here, and if you just squeeze those together, what's cool about the wax linen is it will stick that way. So all I have to do is cut this off, and as I was saying in the beginning, it should hold itself there. As I was saying in the beginning, you just add a dot of glue into the end cap here. Well, I say a dot. You really want to, like three tops should do it. Three should do it. And just pop that on. And I make sure I swirl it all around. I got the large end caps. These hook and eyes, I really like these hook and eyes. They, they hold really well. I've used them for quite a few of my jewelry projects now. But because there's a little bit of a gap in here, I'm going to add just another little dot in there. And then another one on the other side, just to make sure that all those strands are going to stay. OK. And now I mentioned that it only takes about five minutes for that to dry. So we're going to leave that. I've gotten questions uh, when I've shared these in the past. People will ask, well, you know, how do you keep the beads from sliding around? And the answer to that is really you, do, you don't. You kind of want the beads to slide around. You want this to have, um, you want it to move with you. It's, it's got like an or organic look. So it's nice if it has an organic feel, too. And I'll see I'm messing with this before it's all the way dry. That's my fault. I told you to wait five minutes, and then I promptly didn't. But it's getting nice and tacky there. It should be 
should be just about ready. So I'm going to slide these down. These beads and help fill out the bracelet. All right, and then the hook and I just slip into each other here. It's because I'm trying not to glue myself. That's why it looks like this. It's not, it's usually a lot easier than this. Just trying to be careful not to glue this to myself because you know that's always awkward to do that on a live hangout. But it's not really a complete day if you haven't uh, glued something to yourself. Am I right? I just opened up that hook just a little bit. You shouldn't have to do that more than the first time. They hold really well. I think just in shipping it kind of squished shut. But so you've got this puffed up bracelet. Let me um, lift up my sleeve here and maybe really officially glue this to myself. We'll see. All right. So what you've got is something that fills up your whole wrist. Let's see if I can back this up. You know, I'm just going to switch back to the other camera here. It's probably the easier way to do this. All right, there we go. And here's what I'm trying to show you is you've got this nice full bracelet. Since I just made it, of course, I haven't really had a chance to fluff it up. But, yeah, so this it gives you this nice chunky look, and you you really didn't add that many beads to each strand. So yeah, so this is uh that's what we're what we're making a, a nice floral layered bracelet. It's one of one of my favorite styles. So I thank you very much for joining me today. I've got my daughter screaming at me from the other room. I'm pretty sure she, all she did was drop her teddy bear on the floor. So yeah, life of a mom, right? <laughs> so thank you very much for uh for joining me today. Be sure to check out the other hangouts and uh, catch those other ten dollar or less projects. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>